الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islamic brothers and sisters and viewers of social media Let's recite through the park upon the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Assalatu wassalamu alayka ya Rasulullah Assalatu wassalamu alayka ya Habiballah Assalatu wassalamu alayka ya Nabiyallah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurullah Excellence of sending durood and salam to the last and final Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jal the person who recites 1000 durood he will not die until he sees his placement in paradise. My dear viewers, trying to make a habit of reciting the shortest invocation, which is Sallallahu Alaihi Muhammad, which will literally take you around about seven to eight minutes to recite this invocation. Do it with the intention of conveying it to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And at the end, once you have completed it, make a dua a supplication in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal in the blessed month of Ramadan. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islamic brothers, insha'Allah, today's topic, we're going to discuss of excellence of dying in the month of Ramadan. What are the rewards and what are the virtues of fasting and dying in the state of fast Inshallah, we will learn today in this short dars. Fortunate Muslim who dies in the blessed month of Ramadan not only remains safe from being questioned and punished in their graves, but also deserves heaven, paradise. The honorable scholars, Rahmanallahu Ta'ala, have said the Muslims who die in the month will go straight into paradise as if the gate of hell is closed for them. Sayyidina Ibn Ma'sud radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated if anyone dies at the end of Ramadan he will enter paradise. If anyone dies at the end of the day of Arafah meaning 9th Zul Hijjah, he will enter paradise too. If anyone dies whilst donating in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal, he will also enter heaven. Mothers of the believers, Sayyidatuna Aisha Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha has narrated that the noble prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, if anyone dies in the state of fast, Allah Azza wa Jal will bless him the reward of fasting until the day of judgment. Subhanallah, how fortunate the fasting person is. If he dies in the state of fast, he will be granted the reward of fasting until the day of judgment. Sayyiduna Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said, that he heard Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam say, Ramadan has come to you, the gates of heaven are opened, and those of hell are closed, and the devils are held in captivity. The person who finds Ramadan but is not forgiven is a deprived one. Because if he is not forgiven even in Ramadan, when will he be forgiven? Dear Islamic brothers, in Ramadan, the gates of mercy and heaven are open. Those of hell are closed and the devils are chained. Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, would say to his companions, rahmallahu ta'ala alayhi, the month of Ramadan has arrived. It is very blessed month. 
Allah Azza wa Jal has commanded you to fast in it. In this month, the gates of the skies are opened and those of hell are closed. Satans are kept in chains. In this month, there is a blessed night called Laylatul Qadr, which is greater than a thousand months. The person who is deprived of its blessings is completely deprived. Dear Islamic brothers and sisters and views of social media, it is generally observed that Muslims get more interested in worship in Ramadan compared to other months. It becomes easier to perform righteous deeds and the reduction of sins takes place, though to some extent. As soon as Ramadan ends and Satan is released, it seems as if a storm of sins has occurred. Too many sins are committed on Eid day that even the cinemas that are not filled the whole year round become full on Eid day. Fairs that are not seen all year round are held on Eid. It seems Satan is extremely annoyed as a result of being held in captivity the whole month and wants to take revenge within the day of Eid. All amusement parks filled with men and immodest women Theatres are always packed out on Eid. New films and dramas are released just for Eid and hence countless Muslims become toys in the hands of Satan. There was a fire worshipper who lived in Bukhra. One day he was walking through a Muslim marketplace along with his son. His son began to eat something publicly. Seeing his son eating, he scolded him by saying, Are you ashamed? of eating in the Muslim's marketplace in the month of Ramadan? His son replied, but father, you also eat in Ramadan, don't you? The father replied, I don't eat in front of Muslims. I eat at home where they can't see me. I don't desecrate the holy month. After some time, the fire worshipper died. Someone had a dream in which he saw the deceased troll in heaven. Amazed, the dreaming person asked, you were a fire worshipper, how did you get into heaven? He replied, you are right. I was a fire worshipper, but at the time of death, Allah Azza wa Jal blessed me with faith for honoring and respecting Ramadan and granted me paradise after my death. May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy on them and forgive us without accountability for their sake. Dear Islamic brothers and sisters and views of social media, did you see Allah Azza wa Jal not only blessed a fire worshipper with faith and Iman for honoring and respecting Ramadan, but also granted him the internal blessings of paradise. All those heedless brothers and sisters who don't honor and respect Ramadan at all and despite being Muslims should learn some lessons from this parable. They do not fast, dare, smoke cigarettes and chew in front of fasting Muslims. And some are shameless that they even eat and drink publicly. Remember, the honorable scholars of Islam, Rahamallahu ta'ala alayhi have stated, if anyone eats or drinks deliberately in public during the month of Ramadan without a shari exemption, his punishment is that he will be killed by an Islamic ruler. Dear Islamic brothers and sisters, ponder just for a moment. This is the punishment in this world for those who do not fast in the month of Ramadan. The punishment can only be imposed by an Islamic ruler. Then how horrific and severe the punishment of the hereafter will be. O Muslims, wake up from the sleep of heedlessness. How long will you make merry in this world? When would you realize the great loss of wasting the previous moments of your life in heedlessness? Are you not going to die? Remember, a day will certainly come when you will be leaving this world. Death will put an end to all your luxuries and pleasures. It will make you rest on soil of your comfortable and cozy mattresses left behind. It will take you out of the beautifully decorated rooms full of entertainment and devices and lead you to a dark grave full of insects. 
It will be fertile to regret. You have a chance now, my dear Islamic brothers and sisters. Repent sincerely of your sins and become punctual in your salah and fasts. Dear Islamic brothers, in order to get rid of a sinful life, join the Madani environment of Dawud Islami, a global and non-political movement for propagation of Quran and Sunnah. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, you will succeed in the worldly life as well as in the afterlife here is the blessings of Dawud Islami. So my dear Islamic brothers, join the Mahal, bring your youngsters and educate them with accordance with the teachings of Islam and inshallah they will be obedient to you, they'll be obedient to their parents and uh, they, they'll have a successful life. Keep watching Madani channel and inshallah do make the intention of coming to the weekly gatherings of Dawud Islami. Sallu alal Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.